it began I can't begin to know when But then I know it's growing strong Was in the spring And spring became the summer Who'd have believed you'd come along hands reaching out touching me touching you Drew James here from LearnGuitarInLondon.com and I'm playing my acoustic version of Sweet Caroline by Neil Diamond. Absolute classic. Now what I've done is I've created that intro which is actually played on a Hammond organ at the beginning on the guitar. So you've got a little something different rather than just going straight into it. We then got some lovely short comped pretty easy chords. A, E and D, not so bad. And for those of you that are trying out your bar chords and getting better at bars, this is a great song to do it with, with chords like F sharp minor, C sharp minor and B minor. So we'll be having a look at those in the lesson. There is tab to this completely for free. Just takes a name and email address to join the student area at learnguitarinlondon.com, my website. Let's start learning how to play it. First order of business, grab your capo and stick it on fret two. This is to keep it in the same key as the original record. He's got a really low voice, and even with the, the capo here, it's still so low for me. Uh, but anyway, pop it there on fret two. Let's learn the intro, that little bit of melody that um, it's great, it's good fun. So it's all on the B string. So Eddie A, dynamite, goodbye, Eddie. So the B, the fifth string down. We're gonna play, not all of it, but the beginning. Open on that string. Then we're gonna play fret two on that string and fret three. One and two. And then we're gonna do that again. And then we're gonna go backwards to two and then to the zero. Zero, two, three. Zero, two, three, two, zero. And then to finish, three, two, zero. So it's just three notes, but they're just played going up and then coming back down. Zero, two, three. Zero, two, three, two, zero, three, two, zero. And once again, you can get the tab at the website to get this and you know have it as a permanent record. We've then got three on the B string, then open on the thinner string, and then two on the thinner string. And just a little note on fingers, I'm just using my index and middle finger for all of this because we never use fret one, so there's no point in using middle and ring necessarily. So the next point is three on the B, open on the E, second fret on the E. And yes, you've guessed it, it's those three notes for the next line, but just in a different order. You then do that again, then back to zero, then three on the B, then two on the thinnest, open and three. So three, zero, two, Three zero two zero three two zero three. So putting those two ideas together, and then two on the thinnest, four on the thinnest with the ring finger, and then I move my ring finger up to five on the thinnest. And then we need to do that again. And then we go to the four. And then we've got two new notes. One is nine. Now, it can be a little confusing with nine with the capo one. 
Um, so essentially, if you think of you've got two white dots here, um, most acoustic guitars have fret 12 marked, right? So it's just one down from that to help you with finding fret 11 when your capo's on here. Now, technically, <laughs> it's fret 9 with the capo, but without the capo, it would be 11. But don't get too confused by that. Just I'm using just telling you about the markers here to use that as a guide. It's just one fret below. So you go 9, and then you go to 7 which also has a marker, okay? So nine, seven. So that last part is two, four, five, two, four, five, four, nine, seven. And then we're into the singing, okay? So that's your intro. Well done if you've got that. I think that's quite beginner friendly, so I really hope you've managed to get hold of that. And now let's get into the strumming. So it uses, it's in the key of E, this song. Well, technically it's not E because of the capo, but it's got the chords that's synonymous with E. And it has um, the chord of A to start with. So how I like to do the A, just to keep my fingers all squished in there, is on the second fret, especially with the capo here, so that our frets are, are smaller between the markers, it's harder to kind of get our fingers in, is I like to use my pinky finger, my middle and my ring on frets two on the B, G and the D string. Strum the bottom five strings for that. So that's A. And we're going to be changing to a D. So index on two on the G, index middle on two on the E, and ring finger on three on the B. Strumming the bottom four. So A to D. We're doing eight down strums, or if you prefer, two sets of four for every chord, like this. All down strums. One, two. We're then going to go back to A from the D to do another eight. And then to an E major from there. So if you're doing A this way, your index finger will be spared to do your E. So you put it down on fret one on the G string and move this middle and ring finger that's part of the A chord, just move that up to the A and the D string. And that's another really good reason for doing your A with these fingers rather than these or squeezing these in here, okay? Because when you change to the E, it's much easier just to move those fingers up. And you strum all six strings. And for your E chord, you're going to do another eight downs. So that is our verse, okay? So just to recap, it's A, two sets of four, D, two sets of four, A, two sets of four, E, two sets of four. And that repeats, okay? So I'll just take you through that with just a little bit of humming just so you can kind of hear where we're going with the song. So starting from that A. Where it began. D. I can't begin to know when back to A. Da, da, da. It's going strong. E, two, three. Then back to A. Da, 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 da. Okay, and then that goes round. So if you've got that, and that's okay, which I'm sure it will be, then there's another technique that you can use uh, to make it sound more authentic to the song. And that technique is using something called right hand muting, or comping is another name for it. Essentially, rather than having the strums string and ring, you can hear ringing out there. What we want is we want to stop that sound. And we're gonna stop it using this bit of our hand. I'm not sure what camera to show you that on. I'll do it on this one here, right? You use this bit of our hands to stop the strings at the back here, okay? So we're gonna strum and then put our palm on the strings. So we get this. Now it might mean that when you do the strum, you need to flick your wrist down rather than use your forearm. If you use your forearm, then what's gonna happen is, is that this part of your hand is gonna be nowhere near to be able to stop those strings. You're gonna to have to do this and then move each time. So instead, you're gonna flick with your wrist and do a flick without motion, as you can see there on that rhythm camera, and stop the strings. Okay, now if you get a little bit of this noise, it's not the end of the world, okay? It really doesn't matter. Um, but you're looking for comped short strums, okay? So listen to the difference. Okay, 
So it just sounds better than. Okay, good. So make sure you're using your comped strums as I will be throughout the lesson from now onwards. So moving into the hands touching hands. Well, we've got another A chord for four down strums. So. And then changing to our first bar chord. So this is an F sharp minor. So that means that you're taking your bar finger, you're laying it on fret two, uh, and you're putting your ring and pinky finger on frets four on the A and the D string, okay? Keep them nice and locked together, these fingers. Tuck your thumb around the back, press through with plenty of pressure, press as hard as you can. It's a big chord change from A to F sharp minor. If you can do that, give yourself a pat on the back. Well done, you. Okay, so F sharp minor, we've got eight of those. Touching hands. And for this, we're still doing the comp thing, but if you, um, if you know how to do this, you can also use the bar chord and release the bar to stop the strings as well, but I'm not gonna get into that technique. You can use the right hand for now. We're then going to an E chord from there for eight. Touching me, touching me. Then a D chord. into a different rhythm there, okay? So let's just do a quick recap of the bridge or the hands touching hands part, okay? So here we are with that A chord. Don't forget your short comp strums. We're doing eight strums for every chord. So A. Touching F sharp minor. A. Touching you. D. Touching. And on the word you, that's when everything changes with the rhythm. We make an E chord and our rhythm's going to go down, down, up, down, up, down. I'll do that again. Down, down, up, down, up, down, up. Then into the next bar, it's down, down, up. Then you're going to change to D for one down and then back to E for one down. That's starting that dun, dun, sweet, you know, that part, okay? So here we go, touch from the E chord. D, E, D, E. With the rhythm, down, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, down, down. Then into your chorus. It's an A chord with that same rhythm of down, down, up, down, up, down, up. So we've got A, then D. And with the D, we're gonna go down, down, up, and we're going to do a down, and then we're going to do an A for the second down. I'll do that bar again. Okay, backing it up to the U where the strumming changes. It's E, down, up, down, up, down, up, E, down, up, D, E, A, down, up, down, up, down, up, D, down, up, down, down. Okay, so that's D, A. Carrying on into the next line, it's D, down, up, down, up, down, up, D, down, up, down, up, down, up, E, down, up, down, up, down, up, E, down, up, D, E. We've actually already done that before, okay? So basically there's two new rhythms. One is down, down, up, down, up, down, up, and the other one is down, down, up, down, down, where there is a chord change. So E, 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 D, E, okay? So I can now take you through all of the chorus with that. I'll do it nice and slowly, and I'll call out the chords, and you play along with me. So from that E on the touching you, three, four. E, E, D, E, A, D, down, up, D, A, D, down, up, down, up, down, up, D, down, up, down, up, down, up, E, down, up, down, up, down, E, down, up, D, E, A, down, up, down, up, down, up, D, down, up, down, A, D, down, up, down, up, down, up, D, down, up, down, up, down, up. Then it all breaks down and he strums and holds for what we call two beats, okay? So he strums an E, E, then D, then C sharp minor, and then B minor, and then you go round in a circle. So that was E, D, 
then C sharp minor. So we're up here on fret four with the bar chords. You don't need to bar the top string. And um, we're going to be playing fret five on the B string and middle and ring and pinky finger on fret six on the G and the D and the G. That's your C sharp minor. Now to change to B minor, which is the last and final chord you need for the song, you're just gonna move this whole lot down to fret two. So you're now on fret two with the bar finger here and your middle is on fret three and your ring and pinky are on fret four and strum the bottom five. So that's C sharp minor, trying to keep the chord together and move it rather than doing this and placing it each time, okay? So E, D, C sharp minor, then that goes back to another verse, da, 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 which we've already learned. So four A's, four D's, four A's, sorry. Um, eight, technically eight A's, eight D's, eight A's, eight E's round the circle. It just goes round, then another bridge, and then another chorus, followed by another chorus. So it's really, really simple from there onwards. I really hope you've enjoyed this lesson. If you have, give it a thumbs up. Keep on playing, and I'll see you again soon.